Hi everybody, this is Mickey Adams with Mullen Pedal Steel Guitars in Dallas, Texas. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. In this lesson, we're going to go back and revisit the descending G major scale. What we're going to do differently is we're going to talk about the difference in timber between the different gauge strings that we have on our guitar, and we're going to talk a little bit about harmony, and we're going to use multiple positions for exactly the same phrase. And we're going to look at the differences associated with those. To revisit the video first, let's look at the descending G major scale in thirds, starting from position number three and strings number three and four. We're going to play three and four, one and two. We're going to dampen these as we go. Four and five with the A pedal, four and five with the E lever, five and six with the A and B pedals. Pedals up. 6 and 7 with the B pedal, and 6 and 8 open. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move up to the next inversion of the G chord, which is here in position number 6 with the A pedal and the F lever. Here is the next inversion up of the G major scale descending. Let's start in the same place with strings number three and four at fret number six, A and F lever. Three and four, one and two. Four and five with the A pedal and F lever. Four and five with only the A pedal at fifth fret. Slide to four and five with the A pedal at three. E lever. A and B pedal, strings five and six, and open. Now notice where we ended this scale with a third and a fifth. But on the previous scale that we played here, we ended right where we started on a third and a root. So effectively what we did was played a perfect harmony one third above this descending major scale here. Now let's look at same way, this, uh, three different ways to play the exact same scale on the exact same notes. But our pedals and lever activation will be in different places. These two notes a root and a major third, which would be G and B, G down low, B up high, are found again here at position six on strings four and five with the E lever drop. Oops, I'm sorry, position number eight. <laughs> now even closer than that, they're found again here with the A and B pedals at position 10, but with an entirely different timbre. They're much mellower because the strings are thicker. They produce exactly the same frequency, but they have an entirely different timbre. I missed one. Let's go from here, three and four, to position six, strings four and five, with the A pedal and F lever. And from here, let's move up to position number eight with the E lever, and then the A and B pedal at position number 10. Now let's do the descending G major scale from here. Strike five and six with the A and B pedal down. Release the pedal, slide to the C position or position eight. From here, we're going to have to glissando to position five and have the A and B pedals activated by reaching the fifth fret. Down to the third fret, pedals up. If we wanted to continue, that's B pedal six and seven. Let's move down to the next position E lever, fret number eight, string four and five. E lever, A and B pedal, 
actually only need the A. Now, as opposed to sliding down to C, let's slide up to C. It sounds like this. Now we're back down to five with the A and B pedals. Now the whole point that I'm trying to make here is, is simply this. Let's listen to the melody line for Welcome to My World, for instance. It's a straight major scale descending. It's much smoother and fluid for us to play or even though we're playing the exact same notes, we're phrasing them differently. This is Mickey Adams in Dallas, Texas. I hope you'll add this to your hard drive and uh, I hope this does you some good. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me an email. I'm answering as many as I can as fast as I can. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and we'll see you right back here with your pedal steel.